perimenopause, if you're looking at treating yourself hormonally in order to um, minimize the symptoms of hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, vaginal dryness, sleep disturbance, decreased sex drive, um, there are two approaches. So there's hormone therapy, and then there's non-hormone therapy, like natural things. So all of the natural things, black cohosh, you know, all of that stuff, it's all being tested. None of it works. So they've done randomized controlled trials, not a shred of evidence that any of that stuff works. So don't try that. It's a waste of time. So if you're going into the hormone therapy, it's do I want synthetic hormones um, or do I want the bioidentical? So the bioidentical people will tell you that theirs is better. It's safer. It's more natural. None of that is true whatsoever. There's no proof that it's better, safer, or more natural. So um, you can use it, it's fine, but it's got the same risk profile as the synthetic stuff. And so whether you're taking bioidentical or synthetic, you're taking hormones. So if you have a uterus, you're taking estrogen and progesterone. And if you don't have a uterus, you're taking just estrogen. For the people that are taking just estrogen because they don't have a uterus, it's actually quite safe, beneficial, reduces risk of death, heart disease, cancer, even breast cancer. For the people that have a uterus and are taking estrogen and progesterone, it's great for your bones. It's great for all the menopausal symptoms. It's very good for your heart, we think, as long as you don't have pre-existing heart disease, you're not a smoker, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, um, that kind of thing, but it is not good for breast cancer. So based on the Women's Health Initiative, which granted is probably the worst conducted study in history, but nevertheless huge, there was an increase in the risk of breast cancer. Also, the Million Women study from England showed the same thing when you were using estrogen and progesterone. So um, you do need to be cautious at the very least if you're using a combination of estrogen and progesterone, because there may be an increased risk of breast cancer, especially in the early phase of it. And so we are cautious about that for people.